Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and another episode of Acoustic Guitar Pickups. Today I'm looking at the Amulet Volume and Tone. This is an active pickup. It's a soundboard transducer, like the k and It goes under here, there's nothing under the saddle, which I feel can be a positive thing. The sensors are more of a square 3D kind of thing, which supposedly are more like a microphone, pick up more air. I'll show you a picture right here. And there's a battery inside, it's an active system. I'm told it's not the easiest system to install. I think with these kind of pickups, they're very dependent on where you put the actual pickups themselves. This one has been installed by the Gibson factory. This is a Gibson Sherrill Crow model. And yeah, not many people have these pickups, so I really wanted to get this one on my channel. So as always, let's begin by turning off the pickup and just hearing the acoustic guitar into the microphone. It sounds like this. Okay, so when you install this pickup, as I said, it's very important where the, where the sensors are placed. There's two sensors, and on the preamp inside here at the end pin, there's two controls for the treble and the bass, and you have to set them so they're even with each other in the, in the correct place for the guitar, for the balance of the guitar. So I'm told that can be difficult to do. I know that Maury's music in Coldale, Pennsylvania will do it very well. This one was done by the Gibson factory, so I trust they've done a good job. But there's something you can go in and tweak, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. Inside the sound hole, you have a volume and tone control. And I've found that the tone control is very, very, like, the all the way off will be just mud and no treble, and all the way up will be very bright. So I'll show you no tone, 50% tone, and 100% tone with full volume. And you can tell me in the comments below what you think of this pickup. Okay, so what did you think? Please write in the comments below. I have tried this pickup live. To be honest, in my opinion, it's a fine sounding pickup. I can imagine when they were invented and Jackson Brown discovered it, it was probably the best thing around at the time. But I do wonder now if, like if you're using a tone dexter or an IR pedal, do you need the stuff in the guitar? Can you just use a K and K with that? If you want something to plug and play, is the Anthem an easier install and with the with the mic and the under saddle, is that a better option? But this is a good pickup. I'm sure some people use it and love it and I'm really glad I had a chance to show it to you on my channel. Please subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Have you installed this pickup? Have you used this pickup? And what's your favorite pickup right now? Let's start a discussion. So until next time, keep strumming. Bye-bye.